The mountain roads finally dried out enough that Kurt and Mary were able to come back from Port-au-Prince. I was so excited to see some familiar faces, but I have to admit I was a little sad to be ending this amazing time on the island with my Haitian friends. Overall, though, I was very happy to get back to drilling. It was a relief to find the rig still in one piece after being left unattended at the drill site for almost two weeks. Kurt welded the exhaust back together, then checked the valves to see if they were the problem that was causing the rig's engine to run so poorly. Kurt and Ariant then had to pull the 300 feet of drill pipe back out of the ground, one piece at a time. We drilled 300 feet and got a dry hole. And the rig broke down, so we came out today and welded the rig together and are ready to move to the next site to give this church another chance for water. Well, sometimes you go to drill a well and you get up to the site, there's, there can be a lot of problems you're not even aware of. Well, we went up to the site yesterday expecting it to be, everybody be happy, we're driving up in the site, and if we back up and shut the rig off, this guy heaves a big rock at the rig. I mean, big enough it would have knocked somebody out at the least. And it turned out it's a crazy man in the community. And um, he was fiercely angry that I was there. And so... What I did, I looked to see he didn't have a gun, he didn't have a knife, he had his hands out, he didn't have any weapons, and so I just went over and I tried to talk to him, and I could just immediately tell that the poor guy was not right in his mind. And the community was making fun of him, and he was angry at the community for making fun of him, he was mad at me, because I don't know what was going on in his head, but he was angry at me, fiercely angry at me. And I just got up close enough to him where he couldn't, I didn't think he could take a swing and hit me too hard because I was so close to him. And I just started talking to him. And he calmed down and eventually I went and got him some water to drink and, and some food. And then he demanded money and I said, no, I don't give you money. <laughs> and then eventually he walked off. And the whole community was afraid because they thought he was going to come back last night and tear the machinery up. <laughs> but he didn't. <laughs> and the, I don't know, he just... Whatever comes up, you take care of it, you know. I never quite know what I'm getting into, but it's so much fun. It's <laughs> so much fun. Okay, now, back to work. Hey.